Let's take a brief look at deploying the AGM-65 in the F-16. Uh, we've got uh, two types of AGM-65 uh, usable in the F-16. Uh, IR guided and uh, optical. The, uh, there are uh, two size warheads of each. We've got a 126 pound and a 300 pound. So we have the D and G are IR and with the D being the 126 pound and the G being the 300 pound and then we have the H and K or optical guided and again 126 versus 300. I've got um, the optical there on the left station 3 I think it is and the IR on the right. Um, you know the clear well it, it's more of a clear dome I guess you can't tell it from here. You can see the camera look behind that glass dome on it. But anyhow, what we've got and what I recommend uh, whenever you're learning how to do this is get yourself in position so that the target is in front of you in range. You know, inside of about 10 miles. That one's about 8.5 miles. I think that's in range. And uh, you can do that a number of ways. Uh, you can use a JTAC to steer you. You can add a waypoint in the uh, mission editor. Uh, or you can simply add the uh, the waypoint yourself and you can get the exact coordinates and everything from the map and uh, simply by putting your mouse over the target you'll want to zoom way in until you can actually see the vehicles and I think they must be turned off or, well, then I'm sorry, they show up in the mission editor or not here. So you can get it pretty close uh, right here. And uh, you can see up there at the left, we've got 11SNB 94597 2837 4592 feet. Uh, set your waypoint for that. And if you do that, then you can use, uh, let's go ahead and get our weapons set up here. Air to ground, we're going to demonstrate the uh, D first. One difference between the D and G, the IR guided, and the H and K is that with the targeting pod, you can do an auto handoff with the IR. You cannot do an auto handoff. You have to do a manual handoff with the uh, H and K. So uh, we've got our Ds powered on, and we're going to go ahead and uh, select our targeting pod. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. going to set up uh, a weapons page here. Over here we're going to set up a targeting pod. Alright, we're going to use the targeting pod because it has a, a greater zoom and a higher res on the camera. And because I've got it set, uh, let's just zoom in a little bit here. We're going to change this to uh, pre, which will slew the the missile head to our waypoint. But over here, we're going to we're going to go ahead and select auto, which will do a, a handoff once we select the target. And uh, we can see the tanks there. And if we go narrow, um, let's make that uh, SOI. I go down one on my uh, DMS, and I'm going to go ahead and zoom in a little. That probably should be good. Now I'm going to, with my target management, let's go ahead and zoom in a little more. With my target management switch, I'm going to up long. Normally I designate with just an up, a short up, but up and long will do a handoff to my uh, missile seeker. So, up. Alright, now that should hand off there. And now here's something that you'll notice that um, I kind of found out the hard way just because why, why didn't that detect it? It's because the field of view on the missile seeker is, uh, is in white and it can't actually see the target. So we want to change this field of view. And now when it, let's do that again with the, uh, the pod as the SOI. I'm going to do a long We are in auto. You know, let's just deselect it. Now it's handing off. 
Now, you'll notice that it's flashing, or it's, it's jittering, and I'm not sure that it actually has the right tank selected. Uh, because we are at a distance, and in fact, it looks like it has one in the back row, where over here I have one in the front row. So let's do that again. All right, and we're going to go back over here. All right, we do have the right field of view, so I'm going to hit it again. And it still gets the wrong one. So if that happens, if we were a little closer, it wouldn't happen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over here. This is so I'm going to deselect that target. And I'm just going to select it manually. There we go. <laughs> I hit it again, and it selected it. What do you know? All right, now, now we can fire a missile. And let's just follow that missile in. So it should get the uh, the leftmost tank, I think, in the uh, row. In, there's two rows, uh, four in each row. And so it should get the leftmost uh, tank in the row closest to us. And the difference between the uh, the D and the G and the H and, and K, as far as the auto handoff goes, is uh, we simply have to switch the SOI and designate it manually, like I just did. The uh, and yeah, it's going to get the right one. And so we're in we're in active pause, and uh, that means we can shoot all of these tanks without actually flying any further. And you put it in an active pause with left shift, uh, windows key, left windows key, and the pause key. And uh, that's different from pause. If you're in pause, you can't do anything. Active pause, you're doing everything except for the aircraft is not moving. And uh, what uh, the way that's intended to work, though, if I want to, I'm going to select, uh, now it's SOI. And I'm, I'm just going to break track on that. I'm going to go ahead and get this one over here. And uh, let's see if it, it didn't get it because the field of view changed. Let's get that again. Let's break it. Now we'll get it again. And it's got it now. It's got the right tank. Now let's take a look and see. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and break that. And we're going to take a look at, uh, we're going to switch back here, and we're going to change this to the uh, H, which are over here. And it shows station 3, and so we'll go back to the weapon switch. And so we're going to go back, and, and we're, we can still use the pot. Let's go ahead and get the, maybe this one right here. Let's uh, zoom that in a little. Alright, now I'm going to designate it. And uh, it did not. My crosshairs are not complete, so there's not one targeted. However, I didn't have my field of view in. We'll zoom that in. And we're going to try it again. going to undesignate it. Redesignate it. Now, it still did not designate it. So, but it did point it at it. And so what I need to do then is make this uh, the SOI. And then I can designate that target. And yeah, let's fire a missile. And by the way, if you don't have a target designated, and you try to fire a missile, it simply won't fire. And so that's how you'll know. That's an easy way to know if you have a target designated or not. So you really want to learn and get familiar with uh, how to deploy these uh, while you're not flying. <laughs> 
and then uh, you know you, you can just do it really quickly and you don't have to study it and wind up flying to the wrong location or into the ground and shot denied or destroyed so deploying the AGM-65 again you've got two types the uh, DNG which are IR, the H and K are optical, and you've got two sizes of each, two sizes of warheads. That is all. 